Jerry from Indie Figure Unboxing and in this video we're going to take a look at the Tamashi effect parts and these are the wind effect. I do have both colors over here but then we're just going to take a look at one of them because you know they're hella big. Um, but then we can like do some posing with both colors later. Like how does that sound? Well it sounds good. Anyways um, here's the back of the box and it looks like we can do a lot with these. Like these are like very very interesting. It kind of looks a little difficult though but yeah this one's way more interesting than the last one we got. The last one we got I believe was the, the wave effects and I find these a little bit useless. But yeah um, this one looks very very good. And at first I was going to do Kamen Rider Double first before I do this but then I realized it doesn't make sense and this one um, takes a little bit more time so we will take a look at this later because these are obviously built for him. Uh, for those of you who don't know anything about Kamen Rider Double, um, every time when he shows up like there's like wind blowing so yeah he looks exactly like that. But yeah, um, anyways, let's bust this thing open and see what we got. Wow, this is huge. I'm probably just gonna throw away the packaging because I don't think I really need them anyways. Um, it's gonna take up too much space. But anyways, um, let's bust this thing open and see right, what we so got. Here we have the effect parts and it looks amazing. I just love the translucent color from Bandai. But I feel like this might have been a little bit more practical if it were like clear color. But you know, that's beside the point. It's still gonna look good regardless. And it comes with this one big one. And then we have um, two other ones on the ground. And then we have three smaller ones over here like these are used for like slashing and whatever you can do a lot of stuff with this and one thing I noticed is that this thing is very very durable like it's some very very hard plastic like, if I were to hold it like this and punch someone I can really hurt someone uh, before this thing breaks so yeah you gotta be careful like this thing is very very durable and we can actually assemble this um, to make them into one piece and let's try that out right now Oh, this is actually more simple than I thought. It's just three packs. One, two, three, and let's check Alright, so out. here's everything assembled, and let's try to pose it with some figures. Alright, so first off, we have Anti-Mage from Dota 2 and Makoto from Free. And they're both made by Figma, so you guys can get a pretty quick estimation of how big these things are. Um, personally, I think it looks pretty good, and it feels a little bit compact in there, though. So um, that's something to keep in mind. It doesn't look bad, but um, I feel like this thing could be a little bit bigger. But I'm pretty sure they did math and everything, and this is the ideal size they came up with um it's kind of hard to put anti mage in just because of the blade but you know that's a character specific issue um it still looks good and now that i'm looking at it i should have gotten the figma dota 2 windrunner it would have looked really nice but i didn't want to drop 90 dollar on her uh, so i'm just gonna wait for the april but it will look very nice though like with green green purple purple but anyways um let's check out some other stuff right, so next up we have some sh figure arts common writer figures and like i mentioned earlier the space in there is very very limited like um they barely fit in there so it gets kind of difficult to pull this off but you just have to play around with it it still looks very good though all right so next up we have the sh figure arts kakashi and the figma aol kirito and they look very good all right so next up we have the sh figure arts naruto and sasuke and it fits them very well it's probably the best we have seen so far all right so next up we have joseph and caesar from jojo bizarre and these are made by super action statues and it fits them very very well um in terms of the height too like it's really nice Alright, so next up we have Luke Skywalker and Kamara Hibiki and they look amazing. Like these are definitely very versatile. Right, so next up we have Yugi and Shiro from Figma and they definitely look very good, especially Yugi. Alright, so next up let's try out some slashing effects. And I'm not the most creative and I'm pretty sure most of it can do it better than me. Um, but it still looks really good. And next up we can also use this to do a really cool round kick, but I'm not very good at posing this. So yeah, you get an idea. It's pretty cool. And you can also use these like energy waves. It's like they're shooting energy out from their blade or something. Something. it's pretty cool and lastly you can use it straight up like an energy blast so there's a lot of options and let's jump straight into the final thoughts all right so for the final thoughts these are definitely very fun to play with and we have a lot of options with them but i'm not sure if this is for everyone though because they're still just effect parts and some people might be better off saving money for something else unless if you're a toy photographer then that's a different story and for me personally i'm just a hardcore collector so i'm really curious how it turned out um and for those of you who are curious hopefully i can ease your curiosity a little bit uh, but i think that's it from me and do let me know in the comments what you guys think about these effect parts and don't forget to like and subscribe um this is eric i'll see you guys in the next video peace